So this is episode two of the bulking series. I get a lot of people asking me how I've been able to maintain my abs during a bulk. And a lot of people think that you basically have to get fat in order to build muscle. A lot of people end up dirty bulking, which means just eating everything they possibly can in order to get as big as possible. But an actual bulk is considered, it's like a clean bulk, which is what I'm doing. And a clean bulk is really just a structured diet plan that allows you to build as much muscle as possible without putting on too much fat. So obviously your body fat percentage is gonna be a little bit higher than when you're cutting. But with the bulk, an actual good bulk, you never need to go over like 15% body fat. So for me in particular, I have good genetics. So I'm comfortable at a lower body fat percentage while building muscle. So for this entire bulk, I'm probably never going to exceed 12% body fat. But for majority of males, 15% body fat is a comfortable body fat percentage to have enough energy in the gym, get really good pumps, um, and build muscle. And at 15% body fat, that's when your abs will start showing through. So that's when you know you're at, at that range. So that's how you can maintain abs while bulking, bulking, maintain your body fat at a comfortable rate and just build from there. So a way you can do that is to have first a structured diet plan. I have a coach which helps me understand what I should be eating um, to build as much muscle as possible. But really, just make sure you have enough protein. That's like number one thing. Counting calories, it's, it's iffy because you're never accurate with calories. Even labels can lie all the time. It's never even accurate with what you're reading on the label. So in my opinion, the best way to determine whether you should eat more or eat less is just look at yourself in the mirror. And whatever you see, like if you feel like you wanna look leaner, then just eat less food. If you wanna look bigger, eat more food. There's really like no um, best way to like count calories or macros. I just say just eat enough protein and spread out your meals throughout the day. Some people like to intermittent fast, um, but I prefer to eat a breakfast early on just to get my metabolism going. Um, I used to only eat two meals a day, which was like a brunch and like a pretty much a, a meal after the gym. But when I got a coach, he taught me a lot more about how to spread out your meals so that you can have better protein muscle synthesis, which means your, your body can absorb the most amount of protein when you have small meals throughout the day, between like four and six meals. So first of all, that will speed up your metabolism. Plus it will help your body absorb as much protein as possible and help you recover a lot better. So that's basically the best way in my opinion to maintain low body fat, decently low body fat percentage while bulking. So there's, what's the difference between one and but you want to work up to the spot where it's heavy enough that you can't get it back there. You have to put your chest. Got it. So we're going to just focus on the front now? Yeah, but you're going to want to definitely go up and weigh a ton more. Right. Especially because you're able to get it back there. Am I doing it right? Yes. So with these, like, bring it up. So Yes. You're going to try to get the biggest contraction in the arms as you can first, and then raise it just a little bit. So put that full contraction first, and then if there's still space, then you'll raise it. Okay. Like that. So keep the elbows down, get it up, and then... Yeah. So that little raise is just to finish that squeeze. Gotcha. Yeah. Right. So we're going to superset those two exercises. We're going to superset the cable pull down and then the cable or the barbell curl. It's the striation to skew air. Disgusting. Just disgusting. 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 Now, I think it's really impressive that you've been gone for three months and still have like all of your muscle. Thanks and steroids. Oh <laughs> no anytime someone comes up to me like dude how did you get so big? Like steroids and just walk away. <laughs> yeah, steroids and cake. <laughs> steroids, cake, pizza. Three things. Pizza for the protein, cake for the carbs. You're good. That's all you need. Ultimate nutrition. Trend to make work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trend just puts it all together.
close, close, close. Slow. There we go. Nice. Keep going, keep going. Give me two more. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. There we go. One more. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Nice. Do my grip too. Yeah. Get it up to a solid squeeze. Yeah. Pass 90. Once I struggle, start slowing down about this spot, then you're gonna start helping. Okay. Okay? All right. How many reps are you aiming for? Same thing, so six to eight reps, and then you can add in a nice struggle. One to three reps, failure. Pass. I like it. Yeah. Failure! <laughs> Don't you get big! And start lights and cake. Come on! Come on! I haven't curled 90s in a while. Huh? I haven't curled 90s in a while. You know, that's. Ha ha ha! Good, there we go. Yep, 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 good. There you go, there you go, there you go, come on, come on. There you go, one or two more. Yeah. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. There we go. Oh, nice. Negative, negative. Come on, come on. You got one more now. You do that to yourself. Come on, come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Feel it. Feel it. There we go. Yes. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, that's good. Oh. So what's the benefit of having the uh, attachment on the wrist? So it helps in that we the core is not the limiting factors. For that, you can also put it in the front of the pal on the wrist. Just, it makes it easier to keep that arm straight and isolate just that shoulder because you have less muscles to really focus on. So it takes the forearms out and just puts all the tension on the shoulder? Yep. And then, same thing, I prefer to do it with a straight arm. Gotcha. So like that's the kind of thing. Still get the shoulder pretty heavy, but I also right. want to get everything communicating well. Yeah. I just find a better. Connection. This is like pure shoulder when you have your arm straighter? Yeah. At least I've been more on that direction. Right. Uh, so you get that arm straight. Pure shoulder isolation. Got all these little bit of shoulder. Next for shoulders, we're going to be doing some upright rows and then we set it with uh, face pull. Face pull! <laughs> we're going a lot heavier with these, so you actually have to lay like pretty much all the way on the ground, <laughs> parallel to the ground. Try this out with Yeah, there we go. Be sitting up, standing up, and on the bar, go up. You're gonna help me get it up, and I'm just doing negatives all the way down, okay? Okay. I'm not gonna try to raise it all the way myself. You're just helping me up, and then I'm just doing a negative. All right. So, How many reps is till failure? I, it's, until the tears come. And I actually lied, and I'm gonna do it a little higher like this. So I should finish it. Thanks for not lying. Good. Come on, come on, come on. Push, push. Up, 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 up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Switch lenses. 
This is the posing lens. Yeah. Dude, you're gonna fly away. <laughs> Those wow. lats. Lats are so wide, you're just gonna fly away. Looks like something from 2050 in the future. You went to the future and brought this back. I did actually. I did indeed. Oh! Weaving. Dying. Yeah, there you go, there you go.